Hi there, I'm Noreen Dunnels, President and CEO of United Way of Lane County. Today I have the honor of announcing the recipients of this year's Alton F. Baker Award. As you may know, Alton Baker was a leader who left an indelible mark in our community um, and who in 1946 had the vision and the heart to establish the original community chest, which is now known as United Way of Lane County. As a family, the Bakers have continued to carry on Alton Baker's humanitarian mission. This award commemorates his legacy and is one of United Way's highest honors. This year, we are proud to award Kathleen Wiley and Robert Carolyn with a 2019 Alton F. Baker Award. As you'll hear in this video tribute, the countless ways that Bob and Kathleen have improved many lives in their authentic and unassuming way. We're grateful to our media sponsor, KVAL TV, who filmed and produced this video tribute. Congratulations, Bob and Kathleen. We're so grateful for all you do for our community. They're gracious, humble, compassionate. Well, they're, they're two independent people. <laughs> Kathleen, sainthood, and also wisdom. She's wise. Adventurous, fun. Local and global in their, in their thinking of giving and how they give, um, and just dedicated to our community. He was a great leader, an uh, example to everyone, just on how you could be calm and compassionate and thorough. Dr. Carolyn, just rambunctious and the kindest man I've ever known. They are learners. They are curious about everything and curious about books because they're, they always want to have a new idea, a new way to look at the world, I think. Bob and Kathleen have been able to do that uh, and really show how powerful it is to uh, bring community members together, uh, to raise dollars, uh, to, be, to be philanthropic, to think of the bigger picture and not always uh, focusing on yourself. I think uh, both of them have been able to display that in their, in their personal lives, in their work, um, and then certainly in their Inter intersection with the community, and, and those are special qualities. Uh, not um, We don't always see that. They are just absolutely community-minded, not just uh, tunneled, but they see the broad picture. They see the big picture. Kathleen's influence on Ophelia's place has been um, I think a real reflection of who she is as a person. Her influence as a leader is very much needed in today's world where there's so much noise and so much activity and have somebody that stays calm in the moment and makes really thoughtful decisions um, is a great role model for the other board members at Ophelia's Place, but also the girls. They step up and they don't avoid the hard things. And they're very um, aware of other people's pain and the situations they're experiencing, and they reach out. And I think that not all people can do that. And the kindness and the generosity of their time and their emotional support. Um, I became involved with United Way over almost 35 years ago, largely because of Bob and his uh, excitement about the work. Uh, and that was contagious for many of us. So it was uh, really the kind of thing that we all um, wanted to see. Uh, it was a good part of being community, a uh, good part of being uh, together and doing something special. Any time that a provider comes and gives of their time, their talent, and their resources to take care of a community, that's, uh, that within itself is what Volunteers in Medicine is all about. So what they're doing is they're helping the community help the community. So I value them both for their efforts. I've watched her up close and her contribution to Ophelia Place. And she's a very intelligent, capable person, and her contribution at the board level beyond the financial is one of wisdom and guidance for our board. And Bob, who works in volunteers in medicine, I've heard through other people, 
how much he is valued over there and what he does there. They're just so quiet in their philanthropy. Um, they don't, they're not looking for acknowledgement. They want to do their work in a very authentic, um, quiet way and, um, you know, and, and give their time and give their, their treasure to supporting those organizations that are important to them. They're not going to share a lot with you because they're very private about what they do for our community. But they've done a lot more than they're going to let us know. Bob brought um, a, uh, an element of fun every time he would come to the Medical Society to uh, really make a plea for United Way. Um, and he would um, make it fun. Uh, and he was uh, the kind of person that you looked up to because you respected his, certainly his clinical skills, but also his ability to see how bringing the community together could more effectively uh, lead change. Bob and Kathleen, we are so pleased that you had allowed us to honor you in this particular way. You both exemplify um, quiet philanthropy and significant support of this community, and we are so grateful. Thank you. It takes a village, and with you two, this village is so much stronger to help take care of our community. They couldn't have picked or have chosen a better couple than you two. Congratulations, and my love to you both. Bob, Kathleen, thank you for all you've done for our community and all you continue to do for your inspiration. Uh, couldn't have be more delighted to see you receive the Alton F. Baker Award uh, for our community. Um, you are our examples. Bob and Kathleen, thank you so much for all that you give to so many. Um, it's truly a pleasure to have you part of Ophelia's Place and to be part of a community where you have given so much. Thank you. Bob and Kathleen, thank you so much for allowing us to talk about you today. Um, this isn't probably your comfort zone, and it's not my comfort zone either. But if there are two people who deserve to be recognized, it's the two of you. You are unassuming. You don't ask for attention. You simply do the right thing over and over and over. And we respect you so much for that. You are wonderful friends, loyal, a lot of fun, and a challenge. And we love spending time with you and learning about you, learning about your children and grandchildren, and sharing ideas and books. Thank you so much for your friendship. So I can't improve on that other than to look at both Kathleen and Bob and say thank you for your friendship. In a world where that is in short supply, we certainly appreciate what you've given us, and that's your friendship. Thank you. Mm -hmm.